online education is rapidly becoming part of the new normal as we are coping with the pandemic. Today we have a very relevant demo video where you'll see how to automate the setup and management of storage infrastructure for students and teachers at scale. Ansible is the configuration management tool that can execute this for any number of students and teachers and the storage is the Isilon platform which is extremely scalable and comes with Ansible modules to automate various storage tasks. Here is how this setup is going to work. Ansible will have access to the user database on Windows Active Directory. With Ansible modules for Isilon and PowerScale, we can run all the required storage tasks and we'll also automate mounting and other host operations for the Unix host, all from a single Ansible playbook. For ease of demonstration, we are hosting Ansible on a container where we install dependencies like Python and different Ansible modules we are going to use. Here are the details of the Windows and Unix hosts, and here are the details of OneFS, which is the data management operating system for Isilon and PowerScale. And here is the Ansible playbook with different plays configured to execute the respective tasks on different hosts. Let's go over it. First play in the playbook is to get the user information from the Active Directory that is hosted on a Windows server. We are creating two lists of users, one for all the students and one for all the teachers using appropriate Ansible modules. The second play is executed on the OneFS host. The first task here is to create the home directories for students. The file system Ansible module comes with a quota specification and here is a loop set up to create the home directories for all the students in the user list. Following that, we have a task to do the same for teachers with their quota limit. We also set up data protection policy using the snapshot schedule module, which accepts things like the directory to snapshot, frequency and retention period for the snapshots. The next task on OneFS is to export the NFS shares using the NFS module. Now we move on to the next play that will be executed on the Unix host that is the gateway to access the home directories we just created. The first two tasks here create the mount points if they don't already exist for the main directories of teachers and students. And then we have two more tasks to update the FS tab file to automatically mount the home directories every time the host reboots. We then have the task to mount all the directories. The last task in this play is to extract the set of invalid users who have a home directory but are no longer in active directory and save this list for the subsequent cleanup play. The last play in this playbook is the cleanup play that gets executed on OneFS host where we take the list of obsolete users from the previous play and delete those home directories. You can see we are using a tag called cleanup so that we can execute just the cleanup tasks without running the rest of the playbook. Before we run the playbook, one key thing to remember is the item potency for task execution. Ansible modules check to see if the target state of the resources is reached and executes the tasks only when the target state of the resources is not reached. Okay, let's go ahead and run this playbook. We can see the tasks running on each of the respective hosts. On the OneFS host, creating the file systems for the different users with student and teacher profiles, creating snapshot schedules for both the profiles, and exporting NFS endpoints to the Unix host. And on the Unix host, we can see the tasks running to create mount points, update the FS tab file, and mount all the home directories. And at the end, there is nothing to clean up, so the delete task did not get executed. Now we can quickly check that the home directories have been created for all the users. We can also check to see that the snapshot schedules have been created. Now let's delete a user from Active Directory and then see how the cleanup works. Here I'm deleting Carol's entry. 
and now I'll run the same playbook but with the cleanup tag. You can see that the playbook execution includes only the tasks that have been tagged with cleanup. After the execution, we can check to see that Carol's home directory has been deleted on Isilon. Hope you like the demo and thank you for watching.